People who have age-related hearing loss seem to be at risk for cognitive issues. There are a few potential mechanisms. The first one is people who can't hear well feel disconnected. So if there's a conversation going on and they don't quite engage with people speaking at their pace, they feel isolated, even if they're surrounded by friends and family. And because hearing loss is stigmatized by its association with aging and ageism, a lot of people pretend to understand the speech of others and they conceal their hearing loss. And this can really delay identifying the condition. Second, Poor cognitive performance and hearing loss may be due to excessive cognitive load, which means that the effort to understand speech diverts the brain from higher level cognitive tasks, which are protective. Now, this is consistent with the observation that people with hearing loss can experience cognitive dysfunction even in the absence of dementia. And thirdly, there may be shared underlying pathological mechanisms between hearing loss and dementia, such as brain atrophy or shrinkage and vascular risk factors that damage brain blood vessels. So if a loved one is hard of hearing, it's important for them to get tested and potentially treated because there is some evidence that hearing aids and cochlear implants may help them function better cognitively. Now, this theory does not apply to people who are deaf and use sign language to communicate. They would not benefit from better hearing, and there's no evidence that the risk of dementia in this population is any different than the general public.